What a way to start Christmas morning. Man. Jamie had to visit these guys in the warehouse. Not, not you. Not you. Ah, I had some guys drive past my house. You'll see them in a bit. But look what I found on the ground here. The irony. <laughs> look at this. What an awesome Christmas gift. Surely there's someone on the list that'll want this. I don't know. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, them guys. Don't drive by my house in the middle of the night. Ah, I go to bed at 8, okay? Just had to have a talk with them. So anyway, we're running around here. And, you know, I have really come to like this zombie world. Check out these new toys. Look at this sword, man. Look. Oh. But I'm still the same lovable Eric. <laughs> it hasn't changed me much being in zombie world. Anybody hungry? Let me show you something. This is awesome. Oh, he must have smelled it. Hey. Hey, buddy. How about a little head? Huh? Oh, get it? See what I did there? Oh, now he's got a splitting headache. Anyway. Ooh. That's the awesomeness of the sword. One of my favorite toys in the game. But you know, every time you kill one of these stupid zombies. Oh, oh no. Sorry, sorry. Oh, did she just shoot me for nothing? Ah, my feelings are hurt. Man. This all could have been avoided. Got somebody coming up behind me though, hear that? Man! Ugh, and they were infected and I couldn't get far enough away from them. Ugh. Oh, now my OCD is kicking in. I don't like having a half-loaded gun. So I found some little tricks around that. Just drop your clip, even if it's half full. Step back, put a fresh clip in and put your half full clip in your ammo. And it fills itself right back up. Didn't know that, did you? Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. So the game really, ah, I shouldn't have went that way. I just gotta get some distance between them and me so I have time to, you know, turn around, assess the situation. I mean, I'm here to go Christmas shopping. I'm not here to fight zombies. Gotta be. Now see, how is that helping anything? A little bit of wear and tear on my weapon, and, and you gotta understand something about this game. Zombies are like infinity. I mean, I could just stand here all day and they would just keep coming, and at the end of the day, my weapons would be depleted, my health would be depleted. You don't gain anything. You, you gotta get around these stupid zombies and wander through the game. I mean, what I'm really looking for is Christmas presents. <laughs> Preferably some that are already wrapped with nice ribbons and bows, because I suck at that. I don't know about you, but like, I'm more of a leaf crap in the Walmart bag. And it's like, hey, Merry Christmas, huh? How you doing, honey? What's your name? Any idea? I'm not any good at that kind of thing. Fortunately, my girlfriend is good at wrapping presents. What the heck? Now see that guy? He hasn't been dead very long. That's kind of a hint. If you find them and they haven't been dead very long, that means you might find human supplies. You know, food, a nice bottle of wine, Christmas presents, in other words. Old can of tuna. Oh, by the way, check out my new rifle. I'm, uh, sorry about the paint job on the truck. I'm still learning. Ish. Yeah, I, I need to work more with this rifle, get a little better at it. It's kind of awkward, but it's uh, got some stopping power. I feel like somewhere in the game, I'm going to run into something where I'm going to need that rifle. I need to quit dropping it behind me, though. Oh, wouldn't that suck if I thought it was in the backpack and I left it laying on the ground and I went to pull it out? 
I have read where a lot of guys have done that. They're like, I lost my... I'm like, pay more attention. So anyway, a little bit of advice to everybody. Constantly check your weapons. See how much life they have weapons have left. See how many bullets are in your gun. Check its durability. That stuff matters. When you got four or five zombies on you at the same time, that's no time to discover your gun doesn't work or your sword is about to break. Oh, by the way, check out these new claws. These are my Wolverine claws that you just saw go in and out of that guy real quick like. Checking the map and you know what? I don't even know why. This game is so much like real life. I always feel like I'm on the outside looking in like through one more wall. There's probably a bunch of nice stuff going on. Maybe a little party with punch and sandwiches. Maybe like sandwiches like made on toast. Like tuna on toast. You know, one time on New Year's, me and Jeff Drew, we stole some booze out of my parents' cabinet and a whole carton of cigarettes from his parents. God, I can't climb this. It's too slick. But anyway, we got so sick. <laughs> The next morning, sorry about that zombie interrupted me. The next morning, my parents made tuna on toast. And it. I looked at him like, it kind of looks like Jeff's vomit. And I just, all over the table. And I swear, these zombies, they, they kind of sound like when I yacked up tuna fish. God, I hate them helmets. You got to try to get up under the helmet with the wolverine claws. If, if you're uh, in the military and you get bit and you're about to die, don't be so damn selfish. Take your helmet off so I can kill you easier, please. Anyway, back to Christmas shopping. I think if we look around, we can find some nice stuff. A nice bottle of wine. Maybe just some little boxes of swag. I don't feel like this guy here looks much like Santa, though. The sun's kind of pretty, ain't it? Otherwise, oh, by the way, I've gained the ability to climb somewhat awesome like. I see you. Ah, don't see me though. Because I scagged your eyeballs. Alright, sorry then. And what's this? Is that a dog dish? Nobody feeds their dog in zombie lore, it's always empty. I do find cans of dog food sometimes. They're never in the dog dish. But when I do find them, I take them with me. Checking the map here. And you know what? I, honestly, I don't even know why I look at the map. Because it's like I look at it and like, oh, well, look, a bunch of buildings that are different colors that I will be on the outside of. Not the inside, but the outside. I mean, sometimes I almost wish this world was more Arcadian line up my enemies in a single file so I can just kill them faster instead of all this wandering around. But anyway, take his garage out. You know, I've been needing to go in here anyway because sometimes the backup camera in my F-150 flickers. Oh, jeez. Dude means business. And another one does, and another one does. She is bad. So you gotta wonder, the zombies where you have to blast them twice, point range with a shotgun, how many bullets would that have taken? Or would the very first gun in the game even have stopped it? I guess it would. That little pistol that you just saw don't look like much, but it's been upgraded many times. Very nice 9mm. More important than any of that though, did we ever find that bottle of wine? Hungry? Come and get your chunky dinner. Now you notice, she didn't look like she'd been dead very long either. It's kind of a good sign. Maybe we're onto something. What the? 
Ch sorry, that was a uh, cheap bottle of wine there. I want a more expensive one. Let's survey the room here. Oh, geez. I'm running because he looked kind of icky. If they got flies all over him, they will seriously zap your health. And he's gone. Probably scared of me. At least I picked up a few things along the way. But hey, don't let me leave without showing you these bombs I made. I made these can bombs and they are cool. You throw them, it's like BOOM! Problem is, you just about got to hit what you're throwing at. that. If, if you miss by much, then they just stand in there looking all stupid. Speaking of looking all stupid, I knew a dude named Terry Tony, and man, his head was so big, he wouldn't last long in this game. How disappointed would the zombies be, though, when they grab him, and even though his head's great big, we don't really have that much, uh, oh, here we go, let's use one of these. Let me show you what happens if you just barely miss, watch this. And he's still there. Now watch this. If you throw it behind him. Kind of sucks, huh? Don't worry, though. Them bombs are a dime a dozen. I have so many spare parts and metal and gunpowder. But now, watch what happens if you throw one into a group of people. Here's where it gets fun. Let me find, let me find some zombies. Hello! Watch this. Good night. <laughs> I guess they wasn't heavily enough armed. See what I did there? Sheesh. Everybody's a critic. I will gather up some of these scraps along the way, though. Did I ever find a good bottle of wine? I don't think I did. I think all I've been finding is cheap, junky bottles. I mean, am I really going to go home and have Mad Dog 2020 to drink on Christmas Eve? <sighs> I don't think so. We can do better. Hey, at least I'm inside. Have another cigarette there, asshole. I'll take these keyboards, though. Is that a Little King's? You know, they started making those again. Make this. Oh, nope, that wasn't Little King's. Those bottles are hard. The Little King's won't break. You could make a pair of nunchucks out of a couple Little King's bottles, and you could probably rule the world with them. Ooh, <laughs> I feel British all of a sudden. Was that tuna? Tuna! I got tuna! Ooh, that was a nice bottle there. Dad's going with it. You know what? I feel like I've got a pretty good little bounty of swag for Christmas now. I feel like the only thing really left to do is just find my way the hell back to the boat. See, I'm here. Dude. No, no. I really don't want to fight the stupid zombies. I just want to get back to my little boat and get the hell back to my bus and drink that bottle of wine I just found. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Ooh, and the watch says, go home, Eric. And if you want, I'll share some of this wine with you. Oh, jeez, I wanna try this, though. So yeah, the samurai sword will go through the helmet. Write it down. Not much will. I mean, I've seen bullets bounce off them helmets. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope you enjoyed my uh, newer weapons. And it's uh, been fun. And I'll 
see you kids next time. What a lovely place.